Hey guys, it's Jonathan here from Set Sail and Rivers and Robots, and this week I'm pretty excited because we're trying out a new format, which is an online video interview. Uh, I mentioned at the start of this year that we want to make a weekly video exploring the space where faith meets art, and especially digging into kind of creative worship projects. This week we're going to be having a chat to a guy called Sammy Lee, who is a full-time musician at the International House of Prayer in Kansas City and was also assistant producer on a new album of theirs called Fully Alive. He sent me a copy of the album and I've been listening to it every day for the past week. It's really awesome. The songs are great. I uh, really love the production of it. But anyway, I don't want to waste too much time getting started. So here's the interview with Sammy Lee. So uh, yeah, Sammy, I was reading on your little email that came out. Uh, you've been a full-time musician at IHOP for like the past five years. Yes. Um, what's that like? What does that look like on a kind of week to week basis <laughs> yeah so i'm a full-time musician right now serving with um, my worship leader laura hackett park at international house of prayer we have a 24 7 uh, worship and prayer going on yeah uh since 1999 so this is a uh, year 19 wow. <laughs> um and uh each team takes a two-hour turn and then back to back uh, yeah. non-stop it's been keep going throughout the night uh, in the morning you know we exist to really uh, sing and play to declare, proclaim beauty of Jesus. Yeah, I'd be interested in hearing just like your own story of like, how did you end up becoming a musician and yeah. finding your way to IHOP? <laughs> I grew up, my mom was a piano, piano major, piano instructor. Yeah. I always loved music, um, but I never thought about, uh, you know, becoming a, becoming a musician was like a reality. Like, I always loved music, but I never really thought that I would be privileged to do so, like do it as my job. Like yeah. I grew up in a mission field in uh, the islands of Indonesia oh, cool. uh, in a boarding school too. Um, wow. That's really the time during my middle school, high school time where I really got to uh, build my experiences, like loving God, but like through music, like yeah. expressing that. And then I moved to IHOP about nine years ago, finishing out high school. Mm. And I was preparing to, you know, go to university, uh, got uh, got some scholarship and different things like that to pursue. Yeah. I was actually going to pursue pre-med. I don't know how I would have done that. <laughs> but I remember just just like Lord's leadership, like, hey, I want you to do I help you. I want you to stick around here. Yeah. It wasn't just as the Lord, Sammy Lee, you're staying here. There's great yeah. things in store for you. It was the <laughs> just like a gentle leadership of the Lord, like, hey, you should stick around. Mm. So I remember calling my parents, hey, like, hey, I think I'm going to do this. At that point, I was not part of the worship team. So I just, you know, I was just telling them I'll do the Bible school. And then, yeah. you know, typical Asian parents would have said no. <laughs> but uh, my parents, you know, always told us to obey the Lord, love the Lord and all that. Yeah. So they were really on board with that idea. So I jumped out uh, doing full time uh, Bible school. And thankfully, it worked out that that. I got to be part of a worship team and I started playing with John Thurlow. Um, he's been such a good role model for me. He's kind of a person that set the tone for me intro to this <laughs> lifestyle as a worshiper and a musician. Yeah. He's the one that, you know, would lead in front of 20,000 people and the next day show up 6 a.m. faithfully and singing yeah. and leading uh, <laughs> in the prayer room. You know, you know, it might seem all glorious and all that <laughs> stuff. From yeah. the outside, but the reality of he's just the one that really role model for me uh, how to, you know, keep your heart alive, um, declaring yeah. that you want to just grow closer to the, the Lord and knowing how to really develop that lifestyle that expresses when he's on stage. It does not mm -hmm. affect who he is. So yeah. it's really my joy to be here day in and out um, <laughs> with my wife who is also a singer and an instructor yeah. for uh, music academy at the university um awesome. we're, we're doing it we're, <laughs> we're singing we're playing uh, in and out with our friends and that's been that's like my little journey <laughs> that's awesome how do you guys like i bet there's tons of songs that come out from just being in like 24 7 worship and prayer all the time but like, how do you guys figure out like this is going to be a song on an album or maybe this is just a spontaneous yeah. moment or Especially with uh, especially with the Fully Alive album, it has been interesting. It's been a very unique album to us is because as we are in the process of uh, rebranding re and restructuring our music label called Foreigner Music, yeah. um, 
it's it's been a fun project where in the midst of all the craziness uh, all of the 15 songs are songs that have been co-written by different worship leaders mm. and we did something called a uh, songwriting camp uh, like songwriting retreats with a yeah. bunch of us together um each writing song or two a day like the those choruses or the verse melody ideas or the mm. lyrics have been birthed in the moment from the prayer room yeah. or it might have been the idea have been uh, birthed out of the inspiration like one of the song called like fill us with glory was chris yeah. toflan really sharing with me and uh, another artist named olivia buckles and he was just sharing about in the prayer room you know he felt like as he was singing when solomon was dedicating the temple mm. he was dedicating the temple and praying that god will visit with glory and literally the presence of god filled the temple to a point that the priest had to get out like like <laughs> that kind of imagery kind of set the tone as we were writing so mm. you know there are so many songs and we had group of uh, producers and uh, executive leadership team that was checking different theology and theme. Yeah. And we all, but we also had a group of worship leaders. So I think it was between eight to 12 of us that, you know, wrestled around, hey, this would be such a good song thematic wise that flows into this one. Um, yeah, it feels like um, my dad's probably been journeying with the IHOP kind of music for longer than me. That's he awesome. That's incredible. Came over at the first, like, trailer park days when it was like Misty Edwards. Yeah, and that's stuff. awesome. Um, this album feels kind of different to stuff that's been before like it's either been live one thing albums or yes there's yes. like the songs of eternity ones that feel like maybe songs from different people's albums kind of collected but this one feels like everything's part of the same session yeah. and like to... one thing about the group that we had with all the worship leaders were very uh, very gifted very experienced but also very humble but becoming we we built synergy to really uh, root for one another to champion one another and believe in these songs believe in another person's song then yeah. you know uh, as you know john uh, like music production christian or non-christian is such a competitive thing yeah. it's a it's a very challenging thing to build a culture where people honor one another love one another but yeah. you know get the job done you know <laughs> like definitely a lot of room for us to grow too but it had been an amazing uh, process for sure So I wonder if we could talk a bit about your foreigner music, uh, foreigner sound. Um, yes, yes. Thing, because uh, I think I just saw that through your Instagram and yeah. actually signed up for the keys course and learnt quite a lot. <laughs> so what's your like some of the vision behind that then and the, the plans for? Yeah, so foreigner sound is a sub brand of our music label, Foreigner Music, especially dealing with all the uh, educational. Uh, materials that we will come out like right now uh, there's two things there we have uh, two free mini courses uh, one for guitar and one for uh, using Ableton like optimizing uh, Ableton uh, and especially dealing with uh, five different effects that I'm talking about on those yeah. videos so that's those are free resources we'll have plenty of free resources and different paid courses that people can sign up um mike bickle our leader he said that there are over um 10,000 or 11,000 different houses of prayer in ex in that expression of a praying church yeah. like being birthed recently which is an incredible number wow. but then when it comes to not that ihop is the only uh, only place that are, is doing this but yeah. as a as a place as an organization that have done this for a little bit yeah. We should really take ownership and steward uh, what we have and make it accessible for people to uh, be equipped um, and really um, give the glory to Jesus who deserves yeah. our energy um, and our time and our songs, you know. I think just having that kind of resource online now, like you say, it's like, it's so good just to be able to jump on a website I mean, and be equipped. <laughs> I'm sure you, I'm sure you, uh, you can relate with this too. Um, I love going to different concerts too. Yeah. Like there's something unique about like live music in general, but like to see live music that is all about singing, uh, singing to Jesus, like yeah. about Jesus and declaring truth about him. I mean, that's, that's the beauty of it. Like if I were to just be, you know, pumping up music, uh, wherever, like let's say I'm doing different pop stuff or yeah. different other studio stuff. Sure. But 
it is really such an amazing experience to be in a community where we are really wanting to love you as well yet yeah. our music uh, production is really to do that well yeah like i think there's power behind it that people that have tasted will like really you know, resonate with that so yeah yeah another question is there going to be like a six minute version of awake my soul because i think there should be <laughs> i love writing instrumental music for mm. sure um and i was in the process of writing this piece mm. and then my worship leader laura was like hey i'm i have a uh, melody and some mm. lyric ideas um so it was like you have lyrics i have music i have music <laughs> you have lyrics let's put it together and mm. write some uh music that we could use it for like for a one thing session like an mm. intro a lot of the concerts like a lot of the uh bands or um shows that you go to like start with like a pretty epic banging yeah. intro <laughs> um but it's only in worship context sometimes it's like hey welcome to one thing <laughs> like so we're like let's change that let's let's write music let's uh last people yeah um awake my soul was one of those approach to really kind of introduce the album soundscape um yet also kind of bridging them together too mm. i don't know if that makes sense even though yeah, it's yeah. the intro song it yeah. bridges different songs and different ideas too yeah no, it works really well which yeah. was a very difficult job for international house of prayer um because we have so many worship leaders with so much talent and different mm. style and that that has been such a difficult task in our previous collaboration albums because everyone is just so unique yeah. but when you get all these unique people together the album does not sound like the one album <laughs> so yeah. it was like a very uh, important task to find a soundscape that worked for everybody yeah i think you guys did a great job of bringing that together because that's one of the Thank things you. i love about that as well is like the diversity and the different styles and like yeah, yeah it still feels like it has that but it also feels like this was recorded in the same kind of space at the same time and it was like, it was a long mix. process <laughs> to honor each artist and their preferences yeah yet also keeping a clear boundaries of uh over all project direction i mean mm -hmm. you're you're you've done a couple albums you know exactly what we're talking <laughs> yeah. about it's difficult enough yeah. working on my own <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah cool so if people want to get that that's on all kinds of online places right <laughs> yes um you can buy it on itunes mm -hmm. you can also stream with apple music and spotify the first two songs on the album they'll be on youtube in our oh, awesome. uh, foreigner music youtube so uh, awesome yeah i'll put a link to those in the description of this video then and then people can go check that out um, <laughs> well, thanks for taking the time to uh do the interview man thanks for doing this <laughs> Okay, so that's all for this week. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and thank you again to Sammy for taking the time to do that interview. Don't forget to check out the Fully Alive album from Forerunner Music, and if you're a musician interested in some of their online resources, then check out forerunnersound.com. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed to the Set Sail channel yet, you can hit the button below. We're going to be posting videos every Friday at 8 p.m. UK time, exploring the space where faith meets art. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next Friday.